Hi, everyone. Apologies. I am a little under the weather today. I hope I see you really soon. Um, as you start working on your dig Salem investigation, just keep in mind that this is the question where we're answering as we read these texts and we answer um, analysis questions about these texts. So we're thinking about what caused the Salem witch crisis of 1692. What what caused the, these trials to happen? And then in your final write write up, um, you want to use at least one piece of evidence from all four of the texts that we're going to read. Uh, so can, as you as you read, what evidence can you draw upon to put into the uh, your final write up? So you'll also see before you answer that final um, that final paragraph, you're going to read each text and you're going to answer these two questions about each text in the box. I recommend reading and then answer the answering these reading and then answering these. So when it says, what is it? What kind of text is this? What are we looking at? What are we, what are we reading? For example, in our last uh, dig activity, the first piece of text we read was a textbook from um, Portugal. That's the type of text, the type of evidence in this case that we are using. And then According to this document, if this document is all we have, then why did the people who were living in Salem at the time believe what the girls were saying, what the girls um, were accusing their neighbors of? According to that document specifically, try not to rely on your background knowledge. I mean, relying on your background knowledge in parallel with what the text says is okay, but just really keeping it focused on the document. Okay, so last thing, when you're reading, remember, we're always paying attention to the source, and then we really want to, we really want to deconstruct the source. Who, where is this coming from? Uh, what do we know about that person? So for instance, in A, Cotton Mather, well, we know he was an influential leader of the Puritans who were a religious group in Massachusetts colony. What does it mean when it ha says words like influential next to him, next to his title? Um, when was something published? When was it, um, when was it written? What does that mean for its reliability? What does it mean for in terms of why the people of Salem would have believed the girls? Uh, so just pay close attention to the context that's in italics. And then if there's a source listed, you want to keep those in parallel. Okay, I think that's all. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for staying in your seats. Thanks for um, working on this quietly, and I will see you soon.